Number nine, Nikki Kay. Mr. Speaker, question to the Minister of State Order. Services. Order. Nikki Kay. What is the government doing to ensure New Zealand's public service provides better value for money? Uh, the Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, Mr. Speaker, last week the government announced us looking at uh, reducing a number of government agencies to improve efficiency and responsiveness. These proposals include disestablishing five Crown entities and three tribunals, merging two government agencies and establishing shared service corporate arrangements across the three central agencies. Such analysis of how services are provided will become a part of how the government uh, does its work into the future as we move resources from the back office to the front line. Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, supplementary question to the Minister. What reports has he received about public sector reforms? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Oh, Mr Speaker, I've seen a number of reports which show governments around the world are looking at substantial savings in their public services to help deal with their billion dollar debts. For example, in the United Kingdom, 490,000 public sector jobs are expected to be cut by 2014 and 15. In Ireland, public servants' pay has been reduced by up to 15 per cent. In Portugal, only 50 per cent of vacated positions are being replaced. In Spain, public sector pay has been reduced by 5 per cent and recruitment frozen. And in France, they are reducing 100,000 public service jobs by 2013. However, in New Zealand, uh, we continue to boost frontline services, and under our watch, there are more police officers, more teachers, more nurses, and more doctors. Question number 10, Grant. Oh, I beg your pardon? Point of order. Point of I'm order, sorry. the Honourable Marion Street. Um, sorry, Mr. Speaker, I meant to uh, seek a point of order um, earlier. I, I seek leave to table. Um, the Asian Development Bank report on the Millennium Development Goals in Pacific Island countries issued in April 2011, which shows the stark gaps that appear in health and education and poverty alleviation. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number 10, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.